okay now we will see how to download and install edit plus so to run to edit to edit java programs uh, we will be using edit plus editor so it is um, it is not completely free to use but somehow you can able to use it without any problem so how we can download and install edit plus so just go to www.editplus.com go to this website let me check my internet connection go to www.editplus.com editplus.com now in this website you can just click on this link download edit plus 5.3 okay you can just click on this link otherwise you can also go to download here you can click on the second second link download 64 bit version if your system is 32 bit then you can go for the first one and just to download if you are using 64 you can either go for first one or the second one I'll be using the second link to download the file my system is of 64 bit now after finishing the download just to click on the downloaded file your downloaded file will be available inside the downloads folder okay just double click on this file so windows will be asking whether to install this app or not for that you need to give yes okay now it is not asking for any permission to install this software in the windows so it is just opened directly the installation window okay fine now just to click on accept so you are accepting the license agreement just click on accept now it is going to extract the files now it is asking the windows whether to install this software or not now you can choose yes so the directory it is asking so I'll be installing this software in my D drive development softwares so in my D drive development softwares one folder I have created edit plus okay in this folder I'll be installing this edit plus software so here three dot is there so click on this three dots in the installation window so direct the path to the folder which you wish to install it in your system in my case i'll be installing this software in d drive development softwares and edit plus this is the folder i'm choosing just to click on start copy now we are getting one window called setup completed successfully just click on ok now come back to the desktop come back to the desktop and you can see 
the installation has created uh, one uh, desktop shortcut for edit plus so you can just uh, double click on this shortcut otherwise you can right click and uh, you can pin it to the taskbar and there will be a option to pin to the taskbar in my case i already done it so if you have not done it yet so here there will be option to pin to the taskbar that you can choose now i have already done that i'll just click on the icon in the taskbar so whenever you open for the first time after the installation got over you'll be getting this window uh, do you accept all the terms of the above license agreement okay it is asking for to accept the license agreement you can just select yes and it is asking uh, directory to save some files okay and um, you can just leave it as it is a default because whenever we are installing we have directed the installation files to one directory that is only it is highlighting in the second uh, second link second um, it is called syntax directory this one in the ini file directory it is it is the first one uh, it is also directing to the same folder okay ini file directory and syntax directory both are pointing to the same folder okay that is fine just click on okay setup will overwrite existing syntax files because i have already uh, has some files within the same folder like in edit plus i have already installed some of the files might not uh, you know might not delete it so that is why it is um, asking like this this time when i'm installing so in your case you won't be getting if you are installing for the first time in my case i have already installed some of the files are not deleted so that is why i'm getting this window you can just click on yes there is no issue so for the first time we'll be getting this window like uh, enter a registration code this edit plus is not uh, completely free to use actually you need to buy the software in order to use but <clears throat> but without paying also we can use this without any problem so how we can do that it is just you can click on this uh, trial okay this just click on this trial button so it is um, showing one small window like evaluation version okay so you don't want to do anything just select this window drag this window down to your uh, uh, desktop okay just like this drag this down all the way down where you not get disturbed by this uh, window now click on this uh, maximize button on the edit plus now we don't want this window so i'm just closing this window like like this now for the first file okay for the first file i'll be creating one uh, java file so how we can do that I click on file highlight new then select the java so now you can observe it is uh, default uh, template it is provided by the edit plans it is good and uh, we are also getting the syntax highlight <clears throat> this is some something we need we need uh, whenever um, we we are working on uh, 
programming so syntax highlighting and um, um, uh, you know this uh, alignment all those things uh, matters very much now uh, as you can see it is um, displaying um, small font okay the size of the font is small so i want to increase the font size so how can i do that it is by just clicking on tools and uh, select the first one preferences preferences and here inside the general node select the fonts section and um, here you can select bold option and set the font size to something like 20 just to click on apply you can able to see the result in the editor window so here we can able to see the changes what we have done so i think this is this is okay for us it is clearly looking and um, just to click on okay to close this window okay the window now it is closed why don't we just run one sample java program so here i'll be giving the class name as a and let it everything as it is just save this file by using just control s so this file i'll be saving on my desktop with the name as a just a so we don't want to give the extension explicitly why because it is already selected the extension it is already selected so when we chose the file as uh, java so whenever we are saving it is automatically choosing the extension for us it is java so you can just type the file name without giving any extension so just click on save okay so now i need to run this program first compile and run this program so open command prompt in my case i have already pinned it to my taskbar view so how can i get the command prompt in windows it is just by clicking on this windows icon and type cmd will be getting the results related to that search now you can click here to pin this application to the taskbar otherwise in my case i have already pinned it to the taskbar that is why it is asking to unpin from the taskbar i don't do that now so you can just click on open just click on open so here so i have saved this file a in my desktop so let me go to that folder how we can go to that folder it is uh, by using the command cd change the directory then have my file in the desktop i have saved that a file name file with the name a i have saved it in desktop now we are in the desktop folder here i have my a.java file how we can compile it is just by triggering 
java c command java c a dot java java c a dot java now you can just print press enter if there is no syntax error there will be class file generated in the same directory so otherwise some compilation error will be shown in the command prompt window itself click on just enter so our a dot java file is successfully compiled compiled and dot class file is created a dot class file is created that you can see by going to the desktop and here you can see a dot class so a dot class file is generated by the java c compiler java c <clears throat> now how we can run this a dot class that is by triggering java command java space a java space a so by triggering this command you can run the a dot class just press enter so you'll be getting the result as hello world so this is how we can uh, download and install and uh, some minor configuration uh, we can do to the edit plus and uh, we have also seen a simple hello world java example how to edit and compile and run okay this is it for this video thank you